just, he's so just brilliant at what everything he does and a beautiful human being. Love it. When Jennifer Aniston met Justin Theroux, it seemed as though her search to find love again was over. They were a couple that nobody had expected, and yet while they were together, the world could not have been more obsessed with them. Unfortunately, it wasn't meant to be, and Jen was left single yet again. Take a deep breath in juicers, because we're about to take a deep dive into the whirlwind of Jen's second marriage and why it came to an end. Because I just was watching the way Justin looked at you while you were taking your picture, and he was like, Oh, that's my lady right there. What? He gave you the look like, oh yeah, she looked and my, my girl looks good. Aww, he gave you that look. I love that. When news broke out of their divorce, along with the truth behind Pitt's relationship with Jolie, people only had one thing to say. Poor Jennifer. What made things worse, while her ex-husband got remarried and their family quickly grew, Jen remained single. Like, how could this possibly happen? It's so insane. People couldn't help but wonder, when will Jen find love again? And then she met Justin Theroux. The couple reportedly met in 2007 on the set of Jen's film Tropic Thunder, which Justin co-wrote, starring Jennifer's longtime pal Ben Stiller. After their first meeting, Jennifer and Justin went on with their separate lives for a while. Their paths didn't cross again until they were reunited in 2011 while working on the film they co-starred in, Wanderlust. Just a few months later, a little birdie close to Jen revealed that she had introduced her new man to her best friends, including Friends co-star Courtney Cox and comedian Chelsea Handler. We all know that when it comes to friendship, Aniston and Courtney are as close as they get. So if she was introducing Justin to her inner circle, things must have been heading towards something serious. Well, I'm Jen's, one of Jen's best friends. The new couple was then spotted at an MTV Movie Awards after party in LA, and just a few days later, they went on a double date with Jennifer's Horrible Boss co-star Jason Bateman and his wife, Amanda Anka. Double dates? Meeting friends? There's no way that Jen's rep was going to get out of this one. Despite the fact that Jen and Justin hadn't come forward with the news themselves, they were clearly an item. Justin was also the ultimate supportive new beau. He sat in the front row, watching Jennifer have her hand and footprints molded to go on show at the Chinese Theater in Hollywood. He had his arms wrapped around Jen as they strolled through the streets of New York. It was clear that they weren't shy about being spotted out and about, arm in arm, but they were doing their best to avoid making any statements about their relationship. By the beginning of 2012, almost half a year into their romance, the couple took the next big and very expensive step forward. Jen and Jason bought a mansion in the swanky Bel Air neighborhood of Los Angeles. According to the Wall Street Journal, the four-bedroom house came with a separate guest house, pool, and vineyard and is listed for a whopping $24.9 million. If money spoke words, well, cashing in that amount of money on their new home meant some serious romantic business. When Jennifer got her Hollywood Walk of Fame star, her loyal boyfriend Justin was there in the front row glowing with pride. Clearly, he had no problem with Jen being the star of their relationship, and somehow we kind of love him even more for that. Justin also gave an interview to New York Magazine, revealing the couple had bought a boxer pit bull puppy called Sophie. Aww, they got a dog together. Everyone knows that getting a dog is basically like having a baby. By August of 2012, Justin took the biggest step of all by popping that question. Yep, the will you marry me question. The actor asked Jennifer to marry him on her 41st birthday while the couple was in New York, and the ring was a whopper too. Just look at the size of it. Wowza. We do special things, you know, I, I did a little night for her, uh, her birthday where we went to a special dinner and had a pinata and you know, blah blah blah. There can be no other way to describe how Jennifer spoke about her brand new fiancé. The actress oozed with pride and happiness, with eyes that saw no man other than Justin. She was hopelessly in love, and she truly seemed like she could not have been happier. He's just so beautiful and handsome to me, and I love that his eyeballs are so beautifully captured because those eyes just knock me out every day. He just gets better every year. He's just like a lost gem in the sand and he's just always been there and been brilliant. However, two years after the engagement, there seemed to be no sound of wedding bells anytime soon. Jennifer featured on the Ellen DeGeneres talk show where she explained that even her close friends had started wondering when the wedding was going to happen. Sometimes, because it is so secretive, right. none of your friends, like when we're invited, yes. we just go, we can't be in town, but should we be in town? Yeah. Like we don't it's, know. Oh, it's so funny. 
She joked that there had been a few times when she invited some friends over to their home and some of them had shown up in formal wear, expecting some sort of surprise secret wedding. And yeah. we were, it was, I mean, even like the 4th of July last year, they showed up and Josh was in a pow powder blue suit and Isla was in a little, little cute dress and... Finally, in August 2015, the couple actually got married at their new home in Bel Air. A source told People that guests were told it was a birthday party for Justin. So the couple's friends weren't wrong to expect a secret wedding. Talk show host Jimmy Kimmel even officiated the ceremony. Jennifer spoke about the wedding to Harper's Bazaar when she was interviewed by Amy Sedaris, who was actually Theroux's best man. What I usually give Justin is a pad of paper and some pencils and I ask him to draw something for me. Oh, really? Sedaris says of the special day, everything about that wedding was perfect. Everyone was dressed like a bunch of woodland creatures and your dress looked so beautiful and breezy. The actress opened up about life with her new husband, sharing that being married felt so normal. She admitted that they felt like they had been married for so long anyway that not much had changed. She also said that Justin is the funniest person I've ever met and how much they make each other laugh. I accept this ALS ice buggy challenge from Justin Thoreau. <laughs> However, the tabloids couldn't help but leave their marriage alone. After a magazine suggested that Aniston might be pregnant, Jennifer wrote a viral blog for the Huffington Post, hitting back at the media for constantly obsessing about her fertility. She said that she and her husband were harassed daily by aggressive photographers staked outside her home who will go to shocking lengths to obtain any kind of photo. Are you able to block all that out? I mean, that's great Yeah, advice. I mean, it's hard sometimes when that? you're leaving the house and there's blah, blah. It's an unsolvable riddle, so you kind of just go, eh, I don't know why, you know, it's that fascinating. Then the world of Hollywood was shell-shocked when it was announced that Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie were divorcing. Despite the fact that she was now remarried and happier than she had ever been before, the world couldn't help but bring up the past yet again. Jennifer remained tight-lipped about the situation. However, Justin took the stand for her. He took on the role of protective husband. Can we just add that we loved this so much about him and shared his own statement to the media? I'll say this, she's been in the public eye a very long time. I've been in the public eye not as long as it relates to this nonsense, but as a child of divorce, all I can say is that it's terrible news for those children and that's all you can really say. It's boring to comment on anything else. People are having a bad time. That's horrible. You're here, Justin. Jen's husband took every opportunity he could to gush over Jen, sharing pictures of them together on Instagram with captions of love that would make any woman's heart swoon. Jennifer also shared how happy she was with Justin, confessing, I look around at my husband and my dogs in our home and there's nowhere else I want to be. But can, can you and Justin turn off all that oh, we noise do. and static? We absolutely do. We know what our, our truth is and that's all just static. However, their relationship took a drastic turn by February 2018. Jen and Justin announced that they were getting divorced, with sources suggesting that the reason for the split was Justin wanting to live in New York and Jen wanted to stay in LA. In a statement, the former couple shared, We have decided to announce our separation. The decision was mutual and lovingly made at the end of last year. We're two best friends who have decided to part ways as a couple, but look forward to continuing our cherished friendship. Jen and Justin said that they wanted to convey the truth directly about their decision to end their marriage, saying that they are determined to maintain the deep respect and love that we have for each other. Fans couldn't believe the shocking news. It all seemed to come out of nowhere. How had everything been so perfect and then suddenly change? Despite their divorce, Jen and Justin stayed true to their word when it came to maintaining the love between them. While their marriage might not have worked out, their friendship surely has. There's clearly no animosity here between these two, and if they've got no bad blood between them, we can only hope that they'll remain good friends and find the happiness that they deserve.